All up on the gate except the six, Lagerfeld, who made a break behind the gate. They're off and trotting and first away for the lead in the center. Fires out sliding home. And sliding home set sail for that early lead. Second away at the inside is Deep Impact. Trotting up in third comes Southwind Frank. Wide in fourth is Tony Soprano. Through at the inside, fifth is Muscles for Life. Sixth off the speed to Marion Marauder. Crossed over to get a spot. Seventh is Dupree. Further back to race up with them from an eighth is Milligan School. The ninth is Will Take Charge. And after the miscue, Lagerfeld is far behind. Southwind Frank on the outside into attack mode early he clears in 27 and 1 Campbell however lost Tony Soprano Tony Soprano made a break going to the quarter pole and on that early lead it's the heavily favored Southwind Frank and Southwind Frank takes them across the back stretch now riding in the pocket spot second sliding home up with them from in third is deep impact a gap of two likes back to muscles for life from in fourth fifth inside Marion Marauder comes first up now under the orders of Zeron picking up the cover Dupree from in sixth seventh up on the move is Milligan School then shooting through at the rail as will take charge. The half in 57 and 3, a piece of cake half for Southwind Frank. Got a second quarter in 30 and 2 for Jingra. And on that far turn they go. Southwind Frank clear by three lengths now. Back in second we go to find sliding home. Two lengths back deep impact third. Marion Marauder first over trotting up quickly fourth. Now into third as they make their way to the midway point of the final turn. And still on that lead is Southwind Frank. Second to the inside sliding home. Marion Marauder coming on first over from in third. He's up into second now. A length and a half away from Southwind Southwind Frank, Southwind Frank to three quarters and one twenty-six and two. The teletimer, his best friend tonight. Southwind Frank spins into the stretch and he's clear by three lengths. Back in second, Marion Marauder fully extended. Then third inside is sliding home. Some late speed coming from deep impact from in fourth as they come into the final eighth of the mile. And it's all Southwind Frank, two and a half lengths in front. Marion Marauder on the outside, determined in pursuit, but will fall short as Southwind Frank wins the Breeders' Crown by two lengths, wrapped up as he scores in one fifty. Four two fifths. It was Southwind Frank to win the Breeders' Crown final in 54 and two. Come on I'm back guys, photographers. Alright guys. Lovely looking over here guys. Come on back in, sorry. Look in here guys, over here. We're back in the uh, Woodbine Winter's Enclosure. Some happy connections. Our Breeders' Crown two-year-old Colt Trot is in the books, and uh, really no surprises here. Southwind Frank does it again. Yannick, uh, any anxious moments whatsoever? Uh, just maybe a little bit behind the gate. He was uh, a little bit more aggressive than he's been uh, in the uh, last few weeks. He had been like that early in the year, but so I uh, just want to get him off on the right foot. He wasn't really sure-footed at that point, but the rest of the way, I, I was pretty confident. He reminds me a lot of his father, uh, just the professionalism. I mean, even watching him here in the winter circle with the crowd and the uh, cameras going, uh, he's just like an old professional. Uh, there's no doubt. You know, from day one, from the first day I sat behind him at Gateway, uh, well, I shouldn't say from day one because I guess he didn't train down so good, but uh, from the first time I sat behind him, uh, he, was, he was all business. You know, he, uh, uh, every time I've raced him, he's a true professional. Just talk about the track. We're now three races in. Uh, we've had rain on and off. How's it holding up? The track is you know, pretty hard, but it, you know, the, the horse are getting over it really well, and uh, you know, we're not too muddy, so I'm okay with that. All right, great job by the track crew, no question. Uh, Yannick, good luck the rest of the way. Jerry Selva coming in now, and Jerry, uh, you've had many great horses, and uh, you know it's it's only early in this guy's career, but uh, assess where you think he is at this stage. I think he may have surpassed his father, Muscle Hill, and uh, that's saying a lot, and uh, no one knows until next year. And I think the conversations we've had with uh, Ron, what well, this is his last race for the year. We're not going to go on for any more because we want to save him for next year. 
and I think that's the conclusion of the ownership. And next year, I'm sure uh, there'll be one top priority, and maybe that being the Hamiltonian? There's something in August that we normally like to go to, and Saturday in August, <laughs> and it's the Hambo. This year we tried it with Mission Brief against Pink Man, and we weren't good enough. Next year we'll try with Seth and Frank. A guy like yourself, Jerry, it's put a, a ton of money into the sport over the years. Uh, these are the nights, I'm sure, that, that, that make it all worthwhile for you. Makes it all worthwhile. The one to nine makes me nervous. Trotters <laughs> make me nervous. Everything makes me nervous. But uh, you saw how relaxed Southwind Frank was in the winner's circle. He's just a picture-perfect horse. And you love him more when they are that way. All right, speaking of pictures, we'll let you go inside and get yours taken. Congratulations, uh, Southwind Frank. And yes, the stars are out tonight at Woodbine, and so far they have all been performing beautifully. Race number four coming up next, the start of the early pick four on Breeders' Crown Night 2015.